You are watching a master at work. Alright guys, so today I'm going to be taking off the turbo of the Cummins, the HY35. Um, it's making some noise, the thrust bearings making some howling noises on deceleration, so I'm going to take it off. Um, send it in to get rebuilt and do a billet wheel, and we'll see how it goes. It's about 21 degrees right now. I mean, you can see obviously that it snowed. The sun's out, but it doesn't help very much. Good old Colorado. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so what you wanna do is bundle up, cause it's, you know, cold. Take off the intake, and then I already got some of these bolts out, but just the exhaust housing bolts, and then the clamp, the oil feed line, and these bolts up here, and those bolts down there, and that's it, it's pretty simple. All right, so all of this pretty much wasn't too hard. Make sure you take the fitting out so you don't lose it, like as far as like when you send it to the turbo rebuild place. These top two are nuts, the bottom two are the bi biggest issue. Uh, you gotta get an extension. Make sure you take the drain off and the, uh, you know, all the stuff down here, the elbow, the outlet elbow with the uh, clamp, the three inch V-bend. Um, just so you have some room to stick in there and take it off. All right, so as you can see, the turbo's still on. I'm struggling with the back bolt. It's a pain in the ass. I'm gonna PB blaster it, and I grinded a wrench, so it's just pissing me off, so I'm gonna stop today. Put in the new WeatherTech floor mats. That look pretty good. So yeah, just did at least something for today. All right, so my camera's gonna die here, but I got the turbo nut off. If you can see here. Um, Use some PB blaster and a hammer on a uh, shave down nut or wrench. So basically, so you get it off that last bolt on the left right there. This one is such a pain in the ass. Just take your time, be patient, don't F it up. Alright guys, so I am got the turbo back from rebuild, HY35, the billet compressor reel took the uh, housing out the uh, silencer ring, needed a new turbine shaft for the, the exhaust wheel because it was just pushing too much heat and then melted the old one, so and then they bead blasted everything, and I bought a gasket set from Molly, um, o-ring for that, O-ring for that, O-ring for the fitting that you put in the top of the turbo. So we're gonna get it back on. Okay, so I can't film really too much because I'm by myself. Um, I put the turbo on. These two nuts are easy. On the bottom two, you're gonna have to take a 15 millimeter wrench and shave it down. This is what I have. Just enough to get in there to tighten it because you can't get anything else in there. And then what you do is you buy that Molly gasket set from O'Reilly's and it comes with everything. Um, the part number is GS33583, it comes with O-rings, it comes with the metal T3 gasket for the turbo, these O-rings for the oil fitting, feed fitting, the drain, O-ring for the intercooler pipe outlet from the turbine. Um, drain gasket, all that fun stuff. It does not come with an exhaust flange gasket, so I'm just going to reuse mine, but I'm going to put this all back together. Okay, so quick tip, before starting your engine and connecting the feed line, connect the drain line, pour oil down the center section so you don't start the turbo dry. Um, I just do it anyways. So what if uh, the manufacturer did it? I just do it to be safe. This one has a billet wheel and you know it costs like 650 bucks so I'm not trying to blow this thing up 
and start to try and just ruin it. Um, yeah, so do that and then put the fitting on. Or uh, just connect your parts back together and then, um, I don't really know off the top of my head, but I'm sure there's a way where you can disable the fuel system on here. Maybe a relay or a fuse, something like that. And just uh, crank it dry, but I just did the simple easy route of pouring oil down the center section. Alright, so I got everything back together. Um, this usually goes back together a lot easier than it does coming apart. Uh, make sure that uh, everything is good. U-band clamp. I'm going to try and put my, uh, my J-hook on. It is a pain in the ass. Um, if you don't know what that is, Google it. Um, I just don't want to buy a bigger turbo and have to convert everything and this was way cheaper than even a reman turbo with stock locations so that'd be cool to get a Borg or something but this truck isn't for power it's just for towing you don't need 4 million horsepower or 400 horsepower to tow stuff so it's it was good on the stock turbo before it started giving me issues so I'm gonna put the J hook on okay so I got I think I got everything back on other than the intake because I just want to check and make sure the Input shaft and stuff is good, and I don't know, just to verify and everything. So I'm gonna try and start it up, and uh, you can check everything, check for leaks, stuff like that. So I'll set you guys down here. I'm just uh, cruising to get the truck to warm up. It's almost there. 800 EGT at 13 pounds of boost. Just on the back road here in Colorado. Um, so far, I don't know if you can hear it, but that freaking billet wheel and the, uh, this is like quarter throttle too. The billet wheel with the uh, silencer ring removed just sounds so freaking crazy. Like, I don't know, it just sounds so cool. So I'm gonna try and flip around here, get it up to temp, and then do a pull. All right, so I'm gonna stop here. You can see the city way over there. I'm gonna try and do a pull here and I'll read out all this stuff. I'm gonna keep overdrive off and then I'll switch to it at the end. All right, so here we go. Pounds of boost, 1100 EGT, 12, 33 pounds of boost, 15, almost 15 and I'd have to let out, but this new billet wheel and the ported housing and stuff, uh, I know they said the billet wheel loses boost, but um, I didn't see any loss of boost. I have that Jeep hook on to give me a little bit more boost, about 10 to 12 pounds. Looks like it peaks at 33 pounds, so. I'm, overall, I'm happy with the truck. This is like, you know, good bolt-on, you know, affordable upgrade for a budget you know, semi-quick truck, it'll pull freaking, you know, it'll probably make 750 foot-pounds of torque, give or take with the stock turbo, um, and a tuner. 
Um, it's mostly just balancing your EGTs. That's why people go bigger turbos. So uh, mine are okay. And honestly, like I don't really need to floor it towing and stuff or going up a hill. Like the truck has enough power to do it. So I don't think I'll ever get up EGTs because that was a watt pull. But yeah. So get this truck back home and I'll uh, do a review or just close out the video.